Welcome to the second in a series of four presentations to help prospective candidates learn more about BC general local elections. This year's general local election may take place during a pandemic. It may be important for prospective candidates to contact their local government to understand any procedures they have in place to administer this year's general local election during COVID-19. Who are the participants in BC local elections? This presentation will introduce you to some of the roles and organizations involved in local elections, including electors and candidates, candidate representatives, elector organizations, and third party sponsors. The participants most people are familiar with are electors, or the people voting in an election, and candidates, the people running for local office. In BC local elections, there are two kinds of electors. Let's learn more about these roles. Resident electors live in the jurisdiction and must be at least 18 years of age on general voting day. The Canadian citizens have resided in BC for at least six months before registering to vote and not be disqualified from voting. Non-resident property electors must meet the same qualifications as resident electors, except instead of living in the jurisdiction, they must have owned property in the jurisdiction where they are intending to vote for at least 30 days before registering to vote. Just like electors, there are certain qualifications a candidate must meet. In addition to these legislated requirements, there are a number of considerations for prospective candidates to keep in mind. To help with these considerations, there are resources available online at www.gov.bc.ca slash local election. Now that you've learned about the two main participants, let's talk about the other participants in a general local election. A candidate who commits to run for office will have to appoint one or more candidate representatives. Most importantly, candidates must have a financial agent. A candidate is their own financial agent unless they appoint another individual to the position. The appointment must be signed and submitted to the chief election officer before the nomination period ends. Go to Election BC's website for information about the financial agent's roles and responsibilities. Candidates may appoint an official agent to represent them during the election process. The official agent can act as the campaign manager, spokesperson, or be the point of contact for people helping with the candidate's election campaign. Appointments must be made in writing and given to the chief election officer. Candidates may choose to appoint scrutineers to observe voting procedures and ballot counting. Check with the Chief Election Officer for more details, or read the Scrutineer's Guide to General Local Elections in BC, available online. Candidates may enlist volunteers to help with their campaign. There are limitations to who or what is considered volunteering. For example, a volunteer that works on a candidate's campaign must not receive any payment or remuneration for their services. Now let's learn about another participant, elector organizations, which are regulated under the Local Government Act and the Local Election Campaign Financing Act. Elector organizations are generally found in larger municipalities. They endorse and promote their candidates in local elections and can have their name or acronym on the ballot beside their candidate. Only elector organizations registered with Elections BC can file endorsement documents, receive campaign contributions, and incur election expenses. Elector organizations must have a membership of at least 50 eligible electors at the time they are endorsing candidates. Elector organizations must file annual financial reports with Elections BC about their financial activities outside of election years. 
for more information, check out the resources available online. Third-party sponsors are individuals or organizations that sponsor advertising independently of a candidate or elector organization during the campaign and pre-campaign period. Third-party sponsors are not part of the candidate's campaign. Third-party sponsors must register with Elections BC. Refer to Elections BC's Guide for Local Elections Third-Party Sponsors in BC for more details, available online. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the participants in BC's general local elections. Please view the other presentations in this series and see the other resources that are available on the Ministry of Municipal Affairs web pages.